Welcome back to part two. Yeah, part two follows part one, I believe. Just sticking my ribbons in the chest. Do -do 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 -do. Yes. I don't know why, but me playing the game uh, and the aesthetics and how it looks like on the overall recording, it's just slightly brighter and the textures are a bit sort of more bloomed. Uh, the only uh, recording program I could actually get to work with this was Fraps. It was a right pain in the ass. Mm. Oh yeah, one thing I do like about um, the original Resi is because of its uh, hardware hardware limitations. Is that zombies uh, just sort of like always appear in their spawn point, whereas I think in uh, remake they are, will literally be in the same position that they were. Uh, when you last were in the room. I think, I really can't remember, so please do not quote me on that. So it just made the life a bit easier, really. So you could uh, so say if a couple of zombies had uh, sort of pursued you to the door of the save room when you came out, uh, you weren't sort of stuck in a bind. Yeah, good stuff. Now that's locked. I think that's the gas puzzle. I can't quite remember. Uh, that's crap on my part. Get off me. I can't remember what button you're supposed to mash, and I think I'm supposed to go in that door. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced I was supposed to go in that door, but oh well, I think I'll go through it later. Brr. As I said, there was no master. Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. <laughs> Whoa, this hall is dangerous. <sighs> no, it's not. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Hi. Odd. I'm pretty convinced Barry was supposed to give me something then. And say another horrible line quip. Oh, I think because my inventory was full. He didn't. Oh, that kind of sucks. Yeah, uh, if your inventory isn't full, then he gives you acid rounds. It's a weapon that's particularly good at uh, against living things. Hmm, opposed to bricks or eggs or uh, broccoli or uh, grandmas. And no, they're living. Well, well, arguably not. They're kind of on the way out. And lampshades and statues and um, in which case, what the hell was I doing there? Hello, can I give you a hug, Mr. Zombie? Yes. But that definition doesn't mean that uh, it wouldn't be effective on zombies, because they are not really living things. I don't know, I'm not going to analyse that too much. Bad scripting and nothing else. Wah, wah, wah. Right, oh, I hate this bloody corridor. Let's turn... Oh look, there's one of you, and you've seen me, let's back up. And I think the other one's after me as well. I think I stand here for ages just waiting for it to come. Oh yes, uh, if you haven't noticed already, I'm talking the past tense. Uh, I don't record PC games live because uh, it's kind of hard to do. Uh, generally, I do try and record console games live. It kind of depends on the game that you're playing. Because uh, if you, you know... Hopefully there's better commentary here rather than running around going, Ooh, where's this go? Where's this go? Uh, whereas this commentary only consists of me going, You're an idiot, what are you doing? Uh, come on, friend. It is really strange, uh, because like, I don't know if it's random or zombies are actually assigned to this, but um, the amount of hits a zombie takes to die uh, varies from 2 to 5, is it? Or was it 7? I can't remember. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, two doors, but they're probably both locked. Helmets. Christ. Uh, nope, I don't. Never mind then, because if I did try and go through there now, anyway, with uh, attempting it, I'd probably break the game. I remember I did that massively with um, Metal Gear Solid 2. I completely broke that game. Like, uh, I got a key card that I wasn't supposed to for level 5. I could just go through to the later areas. So I'd pick up an AK, and Pliskin would start talking to me, say, Oh, wow, you got an AK, despite the fact that Pliskin hadn't spoken to me at all. Uh, so far in the game. Annoyingly to the left there's another zombie and annoyingly I don't think there's any reason of going down there. Or is there a door? I hope there's a door. 
Oh good, it wasn't all in vain. Uh, do I heal myself or did I just do that? Uh, I don't know. Play a bit more cautiously now. Hmm. Ooh, oof. Yeah. Obviously there's one very important element uh, of like spreading zombie epidemics which I think some media doesn't handle very well. Is that uh, in order for it to actually spread, that means that like a zombie can't completely devour its prey. So if someone's gonna get bitten, run away, uh, bite other people but not eat them so they can run away, and so on and so forth. Whereas, you know, like uh, if, it, if there's a group you run away, uh, leave them, the zombies would just end up, uh, you know, eating. So there's no more zombies, you know, if that makes any sense at all. I've actually got the Max Brooks uh, Zombie Survival Guide. I've uh, got it on my shelf here. I'm just going to reach it. Yeah. It's actually a really great read. Uh, very realistic. Blah, 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 blah. Um, obviously, some things are subject to opinion of how effective they are and whatnot. Obviously, guns for noise, blah, 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 blah. I remember the author saying once in an uh, interview, uh, he says the most terrifying uh, aspect of uh, him writing this book was that... Um, they're actually, uh, he, he was conscious of the fact that people in the world uh, exist who actually want zombie epidemics to happen. You know. Huh. I've just, like, uh, since a couple of years ago, I've just, like, been a real sort of zombie fanatic, kind of. I, I, I don't know why. Because uh, I'm kind of a scared little girl. That's why uh, Perpetual Mind really wanted me to do Amnesia for the next LP. But uh, I kind of figured that uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably do it at some point, but I kind of figured that at the moment there's far too many of those. That's kind of the entire point. Yes, uh, you need the chemical for this room. Oh, look at that lovely water. Uh, admittedly, I don't think I ever played this game uh, you know, during the time of its actual release and whatnot. I think the first time I played it was... Um, Actually, no, 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 I think of it, I actually played Remake before this game. Yeah, I, well, I came back and played this later. I think I played Remake, then Code Veronica, uh, then 3, then 1, then 2. I think, don't quote me on that. Uh, For some reason, in the uh, remake version, the chemical is called Camflex. I know it's a very small change. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, uh, something I found out a little while ago in regards to the Resident Evil uh, movies. Uh, obviously, they were directed by. Oh, now his name completely escapes me, but you know, the bloke who's married to Mila Jovovich. Uh, and apparently the original plan was for the movie to be directed by George Mar uh, Romero, and he actually made some changes to it. Like, it still involved this uh, mansion, the Arkway Mansion. Uh, however, several bits and pieces got changed. Like, for instance, Chris Redfield supposedly was supposed to be a farmer. <laughs> Don't know where that sort of pulled from. And I think there's like a, an error between the game and the manual for what stars stand for. Special Tactics and Rescue Squad, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Special tactics and rescue Sasquatches, I don't know. Yeah, another clip. And on the right hand side, uh, is only useful for Chris's story, it's a broken shotgun. Uh, obviously in part one, we came across the shotgun, and when we removed it from the wall, it made the next uh, room ceiling come down. Um, if you're playing as Chris, you obviously don't have Barry as your companion, because you go it alone. Um, so what you have to do is come in here first, grab the broken shotgun, put it to replace uh, uh, the shotgun on the wall, basically the old switcheroo weight thing. Uh, I, I, I don't know, uh, whenever I think of that I always think of uh, the Jackie Chan adventures. Uh, I think like, I can't remember if it was the very first episode or like something like that, but like there was just a scene where Jackie had to do precisely that, just swap bits and pieces about uh, on a sort of laser grid thing. Mm. I had no reason to go here. Why did I go there? Silly me, silly me. Yeah. I'm not picking this book up, but it is nine quid, which isn't amazing. Uh, it's got another book of like every zombie event recorded in history. But I don't know. It's, it's weird because he kind of does that already in the back of this book. You know, you know. I'm 
I've seen them in like uh, the universe of zombies, like different uh, things are apparent. Apparently, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah. I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. Like, uh, there are different like ways that the zombies are structured. Like, uh, in some media, the virus that's in the zombies is sort of like self-aware. It has uh, an obligation or an urge to actually spread itself. Whereas in others, it just uh, basically reduces uh, a human's brain function to survival and eating. So the infection is purely a byproduct of the uh, zombies trying to get nutrition. And obviously, the way that zombies decay, some media claims that uh, because of the virus, um, zombies decay at a ridiculously quick rate. Um, Thus, they need the uh, foods to sort of like sustain themselves, whereas other claims, no, it's just an urge and nothing more. Hmm. Something that I've always wanted to have a, have a crack at is like writing a zombie novel. You know. Uh, I think you have to push this from the left hand side of the post to the right, which is what I do. Hmm. Um, yeah, there we go. Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. Again, the controls aren't exactly perfect in this game, but uh, oh dear, I could use the first aid spray, I suppose. Or do I? Or do I run to the safe box? I've still got four minutes left. I think I've run to the safe box. Oh, silly me! What am I doing? I think I mentioned this in part one. I had to completely record one part because I completely mucked everything up in terms of the. Uh, Organisation and whatnot. I can't remember where the most uh, easy access safe box is. Oh, I think I know where I'm going. Yeah, there is actually one that's more easy access. Hang on, if this was more easy access, then why in the later part do I piss about? Oh my god! I hate my past self, he makes no sense! Oh yeah, this room, this room. Mmm. Um, as soon as the camera angle changed, we're going to see a desk with a file on it, and uh, it's like one of my. F no, I think it is my favourite sort of like Resident Evil file. Just like I remember reading it the first time, and I was just sort of like really freaked out. Yeah, I'm uh, scurrying over by that cupboard because I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen. Ding! Ooh, what are you even doing in there? Did he hide? Get bitten? When the zombie left and closed the doors politely? What? Is still going on, it means it's not quite dead. Do I switch to the knife? No! Because I'm silly. Well. Oh, for Christ's sake. The music stopped, so I thought I was home free. I was like, hey! I think I used the first aid spray anyway. Yeah, there goes me, I ran. Not that I was going to get it anyway. Yeah, but anyway, uh, back to the report. Yeah, I, I just think it's the most effective one there is. Uh, like, uh, especially the last kind of pages. It basically covers, I believe, the very first um, zombie, uh, in, in reference to the events of this uh, mansion, obviously. Uh, basically, it, uh, I suppose you can pause it and read it, but I've gone by quite quickly. Uh, basically, it chronicles this uh, guy's very slow transition into becoming a zombie. Like, his thoughts become more zombie like until eventually, literally, just the words itchy tasty. I think uh, he takes a particularly long time because it is the first one uh, to come about. Another piece I really liked uh, was the Lisa Trevor uh, diary from Remake. Uh, yeah, Lisa Trevor was the exclusive uh, add-on character. And that's why I get a little bit disorientated because uh, I'm more used to Remake. I think I've completed that twice. Uh, one, once Chris, once Jill. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm wondering where I'm going. Hang on, what's this room? Why is this here? It shouldn't be here. Oh, hang on. Yes, it should. What am I on about? Yeah, anyway, we can pick up that uh, file over there. Not by the potty plant. Don't know what I'm doing. Why do I have to shift that again? I think that's a decent question. I blame the PS1's low thingamajig of me, Bob. That's one thing I didn't like about Ocarina of Time. When uh, Gandalf takes over the world, it all looks different apart from purple clouds in one spot. 
Anyway, please join me next time for when we hear the lovely rendition of uh, the Moonlight Sonata as played by Jill Valentine. See you next time.